everyone. It's Budget with Mama Bear. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Well, if you are returning, I am here. I am back. I am here with an update. Um, it has been a while, and I know. And um, I just, this video is going to be an update of what's been going on, where have I been, what's coming up, and Please stay till the end because I do have something for you as well. Um, I do want to share out some things I have gotten um, Happy Mail wise just to kind of bring it back to budgeting. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So um, I think the best thing I'm going to do because this is going to this has been a hard video for me to contemplate putting together for you. Um, I'm going to put together. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Um, my happy planner while I'm talking because it'll give me something to do. <laughs> uh, this is a, a, a basically it's a big giant happy planner. It's just a notebook. I got it a long time ago. I showed it to you, but I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to put it together with Donna Power by Creativities. Um, She's giving things out every day for members and I've been printing them off and I want to put them in my notebook just so I can start using this notebook. Now, I have some bigger discs coming in that I'm going to trade these out for because this is really too tight for me. But, you know, I love my Snow White, so it says do what makes you happy. I need to do that right now. <laughs> So what I did was I put her cover on the inside. I thought it looked really pretty with the flowers. So all it's always seems impossible until it's done. Yeah, kind of. Okay, so I'm going to start jabbering about that and then forget about what I'm here for. So let's see. Um, I had a rough couple weeks. For those of you who've been with me for a while, I have been a caregiver for my mom for a very long time, but intensely for the past year. Um, she has been on and off hospice for a year now, and it's been interesting. Um, I, that whole hospice thing baffles me. But last, how long has it been now? Two weeks? The beginning of the September. Um, let me look at my September calendar. Where was I? I don't even know. Um, I want to say the 7th. Maybe that's when it was. Um, like every day blurred together for me. And again, I'm sorry if there's a lot of talking, but I just kind of want to give you an update. So what I put in here is undated calendars. Okay. All right. And then... So beginning of the month, my mom ended up in the hospital, basically. I called the doctor, letting her know, I think I know what's going on, but um, I, I, I don't know what to do. And so they said, well, let's try this. So we tried that. It was a medicine, an antibiotic, basically. And it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. So what happened was they said, well, you're going to have to just take her into the emergency room because it's Saturday. So I did that and I, you know, I cringe when that happens because <laughs> the reason why I cringe is because I just had a feeling. I had a feeling because they don't know my mom. When you go into the emergency room, they don't know who you are. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know. Um, all the things. Yeah. So we went into the emergency room and they admitted us. She got admitted. Um, they said she needs IV antibiotics. My mom could barely speak, move. It was getting bad. So fast forward a couple days, she was not getting better. She was getting worse every day. Every day it was getting worse. Doc doctors are baffled. They did every test. There's nothing else going on, is what they tell me. And so, um, 
yeah. What do you do when the doctor says, we don't know what's going on? It's just, she's declining again. And we know we've seen this. Um, she probably was the worst I've ever seen her in the hospital. And fast forward to Wednesday from Saturday. They said she's probably going to go tonight. Um, we thought we were going to lose her that day. We said our goodbyes. I got her family, other family on the phone. We said our goodbyes. And yeah, hardest, hardest time, hardest time. Um, never want to experience that again. Um, I'm going to put on this happy page. <laughs> so <clears throat> next day, mom starts talking. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know my mom and she's not going to just go. <laughs> Even though she was ready that night, she must have changed her mind in the middle of the night. Um, woke up in the morning. She's, she said she's thirsty. Um, I said, here you go. Welcome back. <laughs> Cause she was talking again. Um, and it was interesting. Um, every day she started getting better, but they, but they said, well, it was like the next day they said, well, she could go probably in two weeks cause she is, she is going to go. Okay. So long story short, mom is now currently in a wonderful place because that is where my father has decided that we we need to go right now. Don't know what's going to happen in the future, but right now she's doing okay. Um, she's doing okay. Sorry, I don't want to give you the glare. There we go. How about we put pretty Snow White right there? So it's been rough. Um, it's an emotional roller coaster. Plus, I also work full time on a very stressful job. And this year, my job has been even more stressful than previous years. Figures, huh? So it's been a rough couple weeks. I don't want to film budgeting videos when I'm feeling like that. Um, I don't have it in me and I don't want to bring sadness. Um, like I said, it's hard for me to just get on here and do this because I like to have a positive channel where I inspire you. We talk about things for our goals and um, I try to make it a happy place to be. So when I'm not feeling very happy, I really don't want to get on here and do this because I don't want to put that onto you, you know, but I'm doing it because of you, because I, while I was sitting there in the hospital, I was getting messages on my phone. I was looking at emails that were coming through and some of you were reaching out to me going, Hey, are everything okay? Um, I'm, I'm praying for you. Hope your mom's okay. And then as we went on, um, I know uh, Donna reached out to everyone and asked for prayers for my mom and for me. And the messages that I got on Etsy, on Instagram, on my email, on past videos that you guys were watching to keep me up and relevant were so meaningful to me. It lifted my spirits because I knew I had some support out there and I've never met you and I've never met any of you. Um, but for you to do that and say that, that helped me get through probably the hardest time in my life so far. Because I know there's going to be hard times ahead. But that really helped. And I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for those of you who reached out to me and for those of you who were watching my videos and were just kind, were just kind, um, that means a lot. That means a lot. And I just, I want you to know that I saw you, I read your comments. I might not have responded to all of them because there were days where I couldn't, but thank you. And I did read every single one. So if you did say something, I did see you and I did hear you. And I do want to thank you right now. 
I wanted you to hear my thanks, right? So going forward, what is going on? Well, we do have some crossroads that I'm coming up on with the, that whole situation that I, I would love your continued prayers on because you know when you have to make big decisions and you feel alone um, in those, it's hard. And so I've been praying myself, but I would really love your prayers on this one going forward. But what about the channel and the budgeting? What is going on from here? This is the place of my joy. And I've shared that with you before. Um, on Budget with Mama Bear, this is where I, this is my self-care. When I'm on here, this is my self-care. Um, I really enjoy this. So I am coming back. I am going to make videos. Um, my videos probably won't go up until October, though, because I have a lot going on this next week, and I just don't want to kind of spot video things. So I am going to have to work on my budget because I wasn't spending, but I wasn't, you know, cash budgeting. And so I've got kind of a lot of cash, or I should say money out there that doesn't have a home that needs to be allocated. So I need to do some hardcore budgeting. I need to have a plan for October. I also have something fun coming up in October with my son. He has been home. We have been talking about budgeting for him. And he has agreed to share that with you. And so I have an exciting series coming up in the month of October. And we're still kind of working that out together on starting him off in the budgeting world. <laughs> so those of you who are new budgeters and those of you who are maybe younger budgeters who, you know, have your ideas and thoughts and are starting young, but it doesn't even, it, will, it would probably relate to anyone starting out. That'll be a fun series for you. Or those of you who kind of want to see how I'm, how I'm mama bearing my, uh, my, <laughs> my kiddo through his young 20s and going on starting his budgeting journey. Make sure you look for those, okay? I figured, um, I guess I can share what the name is going to be because I, ju I just came up with it with him today. It's going to be Mondays with Mama. And we're going to do a video together once a week to get him on track for his budgeting journey. And then going forward after that, we'll probably just do check-in videos occasionally so you can kind of see how he's doing, but not a weekly thing. So let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. You think that's something you'd be interested in watching? All right. So, and then we've got other budgeting videos that will be coming up. So look for that in October. I am coming back. I need this joy in my life. Okay. Yeah. And again, don't forget, I have something for you at the end. <laughs> so I have gotten a lot of happy mail. <laughs> while I've been gone. And I do need to share some of that with you, but I wanna start off with this. This is from a friend of mine that makes lots of challenges, and I've been using her challenges since I started budgeting. And this is, you all know her, Janelle Ray Budgets. And there is her info right there. Um, Janelle, is such a creative being and she is a hard hard worker she has lots of kids and she does this budgeting business very well so i had ordered this and this is a self-care binder and it says do it for you and it's so pretty but look at the little section so there's one for coffee mani pedi here i'll go like this the salon fitness clothes purse shoes, birthday, girls night out, entertainment. Look at how cute this is. So this is something I needed in my life. So I ordered this. She sent me all of this with it. And I really do appreciate that. So I do want to highlight this. So I got this cute little freebie mini. Oh, you make a difference note. You know, I love these little note cards. And there is a really pretty quote about the starfish. And I love that on the back of this. That's really sweet, Janelle. She sent me this pen that says, never forget the difference you've made. Like this really is thoughtful because I needed that right now. 
to keep me going. And this cool villains binder. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love it. And these are things I've been eyeing. So I'm like, woo, this is so sweet of her to give me this. I've got to think, I think I'm going to use this in 2025 for a binder. So cute. All right. And then this, this is something that I really wanted. And what's funny is I was like, Ooh, I really want to get that. And she's all, please don't get that. I'm sending it to you. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> so this is her 2025 savings challenge book. She comes out with one every year. And I just love the colors and the aesthetics on this one. And there are tons of different challenges for every budget or topic that you can think of throughout the year. I mean, this is really nice. And each one has cornered, look at this. And she makes all of these. Some of them are laminated, some of them are not. And you get this with it. It's an envelope for each one of the challenges and it's themed. So this is a lot of work. I'm a creator myself and I just, I know how hard this is to make this. And she just, whew, She's talented. Look at all that. So I am going to be using this in 2025. So thank you, Janelle. I absolutely love everything you sent me. Please go check her out. <laughs> She's got so many fun things. All right, let me move on to the next one. All right, so the next setup is from Champagne's Corner. So I ordered, she came out with strawberry. I mean, strawberry. She came out with Snow White challenges and I ordered them because <laughs> you know I love my Snow White. So this is a 26 week challenge book. And what's cool is it's got different amounts that you can do each week. And this is a cool little envelope in the back that <laughs> you can put the money in and it has um, Snow White IOUs in it, which I think are adorable. And I love, love, love this design. It's got this little stretchy band to keep everything in here. So it's so cute. So I had to get that. Then y'all know I had my mama bear tic-tac-toe. Well, this one is different. It's a savings challenge. Pick a piece and save the amount on the back. So it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and the little wood chips and it's colored, and then you mark off which one that you get. So it's a savings challenge, not tic-tac-toe. So that was really cute. And then these, she sent me, I didn't order these, so she sent me these, and they're her Vogue-looking Snow White ones, which I think are really cool looking. Look at the Evil Queen. Oh, these are cool. This one's save 50, these are both save 50. I love these scratch offs. So thank you, Champagne. I love these. She is so talented as well. And I love those wood chips she makes. That's so original. All right, Planning Risa sent me something. So let's see what we got here. And I will list all of the people that have sent me things in the description box. It says, hi, Mama Bear, I hope it's okay. I sent you a few of the saving challenges for my shop. If you don't use any or few or one of them, feel free to include them in a giveaway from Marisa. So it's Planning Risa 2 on YouTube and Planning Risa on Etsy. So cute. Look at how cute this envelope is and she has her name. So she has her own envelope now. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I saw somebody using this and I thought this was really cute. Hold on. Okay, an IOU. This monkey one with bananas. <laughs> so you use a six-sided dice, place down the amount of bananas you rolled or from the deck of cards. So, and then you, each banana. So then you roll and you put on the little stickers and you have your bananas. That's cute. It's a laminated. I love that. Snow White Princess Savings, and you can make this whatever you want. I love this. All right. And then these are in here. I'm not, I've never seen envelopes like this. That's cool. 
spring savings B, summertime savings, oh, autumn savings, and winter savings. So this is a year round, sorry, my kitty fur is all over everywhere. Year round savings challenge and the envelope that you can tuck them in. That's kind of neat, I like that because it's kind of holding it in. Huh, cool. Thank you, Marisa. I love these and I will definitely use them. So thank you, that was nice of you to send them to me. All right. The next thing I have I ordered from Miss Doll B on Instagram, and she sent me this cute iron on coffee and sarcasm, little keychain. It's the Snow White pen. And you know I have all the evil queens and all the evil villains that she made. Well, she came out with a Snow White, so I had to get it, you know that. <laughs> so it's so nice, I love the weight on it. I will be using this, so cute. Thank you for the um, keychain. This is cute. And I do love coffee. <laughs> then Tracy at Golden Girl Budget sent me her $50 savings challenge freebie, and it's pumpkin spice. What's funny, I was just telling my husband, we walked by Starbucks, I'm like, I'm not a pumpkin person. Like, I like when they come out with, like, apple cider flavor or something like that. But I'll do the challenge for sure. Thank you, Tracy, for sending me this. All right, if you get on her mailing list, she'll send you one. And then look what we have, Ellie on Earth, Halloween Challenge. Um, she's another one that sends out free challenges if you get on her list, and they're antique style. So this is the Halloween one that I got. I'm a little behind, but I will get there. <laughs> and then Whimsy Designs by LB. I love her. Um, this is from Lori. It says, Mama Bear, a gift to thank you for using some of my savings challenges on your YouTube channel. Keep up the good work. I love this chicken. You see this chicken? <laughs> so funny. So these are stinking cute. I didn't get any candy. <laughs> I swear my son has made that face when he was little. <laughs> Aw, the little gnome for Halloween. And then the cute little bat. So a 40, a 50, and a 50. Very cute. I love these. I will definitely use them, Lori. Thank you so much for sending them to me. And then I wanted to show you one more thing that I got, and I didn't spend money. Yay. Sorry, let me get it out of the paper. Okay, so this is from The Scrappy Wife. She does planning, and I won on Instagram a $25 gift card from her. And so I ordered these two things. So I can always use lined filler paper. And when you buy it like this, it's just the quality of it is so nice. And this is for a big, okay? This is for the big size if you use it in your happy planner. And she had covers. And so I got a big cover. And what I like about this, it has that wood. And then this is the other side. So I can use it, so if I wanna maybe use it this way, wait, let me see, this way one month, and then, <laughs> how do I do it? <laughs> Hold on, yeah, no, like that. Yes, like that, okay. And then this way, <laughs> the next month, I can do that. And that's what's nice about like the happy planners. I do probably want to put like a mama bear sticker on here. I was thinking of printing a big one just to use it like a notebook because you know me and my notebooks, but I really need to do something for like my channel. So I think I'm going to make this for that. So thank you so much, Scrappy Wife. All right. So if you are still here, let's see. Give me a little bow. I think there's a bow emoji. <laughs> I, again... This has brought me joy today to do this video for you. It started off kind of sad. Yeah, let me get a drink of water. But I am moving forward. I know my mom would want me to. Um, she is one of my biggest supporters in life. So I decided to give you a freebie today. I got on my computer and I designed something and I thought, well, what would you want right now this time of year? Well, a lot of you are starting to save, if you haven't already, for Christmas. And so 
I decided to give you a Christmas challenge so you can use any time in the next few months if you want to, but I'm gonna give you two. And it's a digital download. So those of you who are out out there that can't order my hard, hard copies, you can have this one. So it says, thank you for your support from me. And there are two Christmas, and you could do it as a roll and save, or you could do it as, you know, each circle means this much. Um, you could use it as a mini, you can use it as whatever you want. <laughs> you could use it, even use it as a tracker, right? So there are two Christmas challenges for you. It's a digital download. The link to this is in Mama's Freebies down in my description box. You'll see it, okay? That is for you. I hope you enjoy that. Again, thanks for sticking by me. I do appreciate that you're here. I do appreciate that you kept watching my videos um, over and over again so I can keep up on your stream. <laughs> um, I need to get back on this. I will but I do have some product ideas that I have in my mind that I'm trying, starting to get out. So new, new stuff coming your way. Let's just say, if you have been to Michael's or any of the stores putting out Christmas, like Hobby Lobby lately, have you noticed a certain color that things are gonna be out in Christmas time? Yeah, mama's color, right? So there's gonna probably be some pink Christmas challenges coming up. So the, look for that um, the next few weeks. And in the description box, please tell me that you are here um, and that you heard me because I want everyone to know that I am so grateful for you and I'm so thankful for you. And I want to give a big shout out to my friend Donna at Donna Powered by Creativity, who was texting me daily almost just making sure I knew she was here. And even though I couldn't talk, until recently, she was still letting me know she was here for me. So that means a lot. Um, if you don't know who she is, her link is always down in my description box. She's a big person that I support on this YouTube family. All right, y'all. I hope you have a blessed day. And as always, I double love you. In fact, today, I triple love you. I'll see you soon.